the most um, important reaction I had was finally someone has told the story about Biafra. Yeah. So my father fought in Biafra. My mother was of age uh, during Biafra. The first child she had to uh, take her siblings. They ran from Enugu to Aba to oh in so many different places. Yeah. Um, yet they would never talk about Biafra. Yes, it's the same thing with me. Yeah. My parents lived through it. Yeah. They never talk about it. Yes. They, ne it they only, never. It, it comes up at the most unexpected moments. I will never forget the first time. I, I, I saw my father get emotional about um, Biafra. It was so unexpected. He was in my apartment in Atlanta, and the, the movie Glory was on, uh, um, which is a movie Denzel Washington. Yeah. And, uh, you know, during the, uh, the, the American Civil War, the story about the you know the, the uh, regiment of black troops. Yeah. And before they go into their final battle, there's a scene where they're all sitting around a fire, the black soldiers and. They're singing, and one will get up and say some words of motivation and sit down. They keep singing, and my dad, you know, said, calls me and like, what, what is this movie? What is this, <laughs> what is this film? I said, uh, this is Glory. He said, Good. I, okay, I must get this. I must get this film. I'm like, why? You know, he said, you know, this thing that they, they're doing. That's what we're doing in Biafra. It was for me. It was a, it was a similar experience, right? Because my parents don't talk about. It. Both my parents lived through. The, uh, through the war. The only references they make to it is uh, before the war, after the war, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, by Barossa, mm -hmm. meaning when we ran. Yeah. Right? So everyone had to run away from just, they were so displaced. And there were certain things I had to also ask my parents. I said, did, were, there, were there trains? Were there trains in Nigeria? In this book, she talks about she took the train from right, right. from Lagos to to Enugu. Mm -hmm. I said, and it's only too efficient as well. Like it would actually take you there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she said, yeah, yeah. We had trains. So what happened? Well, they broke down and no one ever oh, fixed them, right. and now we don't have trains anymore. Right. Did you feel hurt? You know, after reading the book, did you feel like I know you did mention that finally someone spoken about Biafra. Did you? feel maybe now people should understand that reason why maybe there's friction between you and other cultures or other you know tribes in Nigeria. Trying to understand Biafra was merely curiosity. I know my grandfather, speaking of trains, my grandfather was one of the first Biafra casualties because he was a railway driver so he took the trains from, Lake, from um, Port Harcourt through Makodi to the north to Kano. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in 1965, when the programs first started, yeah. he rode the train up to the north, and that was the last time they saw him. And it was reported that he was killed uh, when they first started killing Igbo. So um, I, I was always curious about Biafra because, you know, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Never from a us against them kind of mentality, just. I lost a grandfather, I lost an uncle, um, my father was in the war, He's, you know, he has his battle scars, yeah. and my mother, you know, once in a while tells stories of how they had to run and how frightening it was. And I'm like, let me hear more about this yeah. stuff that, you know, I did half my family. Yeah. Uh, but never from a, you know, uh, we're not accepted in this country or anything yeah. like that. What I have found is that most Yorubas that I know I'm friends with, um, they don't know much about the war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I remember my ex girlfriend, this Yoruba, I remember she said her dad told her that that, that war was like something that was happening in a different country. <laughs> <laughs> and in that, fact, I think I've heard that too. in fact, yeah. in the book, yeah. right, yeah. Miss Ade Adebayo, yeah. right, one of the, one of uh, uh, Odenibo's uh, friends, yeah. when the war started, she went back to Lagos, yeah. right? And after the war finished, right, she she comes back to them and she says, oh my God, you know, we were in Lagos, so we didn't know what was going on yeah. or that anything was happening. Yeah. It wasn't until I traveled to London yeah. and then <laughs> read something about the starving children that I knew that yeah. there was something happening, yeah. right? So even while the war was going on, right, right, right. there was that indication that 
they didn't, you know, they didn't know. Oh, this was before Google Alerts, right? So. Yeah, 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 it was before Google Alerts. I know. So, <laughs> exactly. There's only so much you exactly. can tell. Exactly, or CNN. And even Olana's um, uh, Hausa ex-boyfriend, yes, yes, Mohammed, yeah. sent her uh, a letter and says, I've been trying to write, I've, I've written you three letters and so on and so forth. And uh, anyway, I uh, just wanted to see how, how things are. My my polo game is much improved and <laughs> your, your, your polo game is much improved. <laughs> and, he, and he says, try and send back word. Right. Really? Okay. Yeah. So it's. I, I really love that point. And, and to Felix's point, I think that was another deep thing that really struck me with this work. That either two things, and it could be of two sides, and it could be both of them. Either as a Nigerian people, there is this tendency to be um, almost like unaware yeah. or, or deliberately um, blind to the situations around you. That was one of the things I realized because for me, growing up, it was like Biafra was a French thing. Yeah. It was like there are just these radicals somewhere that are insisting they want to break off from the country. Yeah. So it was like a fringe mentality, like it wasn't really something worthy of national conversation. Yeah. You know, that was the one of the things that struck me from it. And, 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 and you know, Felix pointed out about growing up in Lagos and meeting a lot of Yorubas that did not even know, or could not even be asked. Yeah. Because it's almost as if it happened and the country just moved on. Yeah.